Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. As you can hear from my voice, I have a um, very popular virus that's been around since 2020, if you get my drift. My husband tested positive, and then two days later, I went right down the chute with him. So I am not really <clears throat> feeling energetic or motivated to do much of anything except for to blow my nose, drink plenty of fluids, take lots of Tylenol, and watch a crap ton of Netflix. <laughs> but today something came in the mail and I just, I had to make a video about this because I know there's lots of other people who uh, might already know about this, who like to do this kind of stuff. And I just think it warranted a very quick little video. So my niece, who knows how much I love to doodle, sent me this book. This is a book by Kendra Norton. This is called The Reverse Coloring Book. And this one's, like, name name is Mindful Journeys. This is a very cool book, but I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. Inside the book, she is provided on, I think it's very good paper. Designs that were done in watercolor that you doodle over them. You don't have to get dirty. You don't have to get wet. You don't have to have watercolor paper, mixed media paper. There's a book. And then you just doodle over the things that she has painted in her with her watercolor paints. And then it's up to you to do what you want to her doodles. So I'm going to Go ahead and do, I hope I don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my nose is feeling like it. Um, I'm going to do the flip through. I just think this is a brilliant idea. So I don't have to get out supplies and I feel like a slug, a mushroom, a worm. <laughs> I don't feel well at all. Um, and so all I would have to do is take a pen and do things with the pen. And I can carry this from the art room into the living room. And not only that, but I just noticed this. There's perforated paper, um, perforated pages in here. So you can also rip them out of the book. Once you finish with the book, you might be able to make yourself your own little book of your um, doodles on this um, paper. There are such great ideas. And such a stupid, simple idea, isn't it? Um, and my niece told me, <clears throat> I was just got done texting with her, saying that there's a whole series of these on Amazon. And from what I could tell, from the prices, they range from about, look at that, from about $9.99. And I think I saw one that was like $15. Look, I, I don't have to do anything. I just, you know, do. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this book. Ooh, look at that. Uh, so I thought I would do a quick video since I really don't have a video of major substance because I feel terrible. I thought I would come on here and give you a little quickie, quickie thumb through of this. I just love it. And it's got beautiful colors. And I can tell that they are watercolors. Start out as watercolors. And then you can finish them off. No, they're not your design, but who cares? Who cares? Um, I think when I Googled this, I did her name. I didn't put anything else in. And a whole bunch of stuff popped up for this kind of art. Um, so her name is Kendra Norton, N-O-R-T-O-N. Just put in her name in the top search bar in Amazon, and you will get a plethora of books that have different themes. Now, this one's going to be fish. I, I won't be able to help myself. This is all going to be fish. I already, I already looked through the book. I got to this point and stopped. I haven't seen any of these guys yet. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How beautiful is this? Look at that. That's a peacock feather for sure. Lotus flowers. Oh, looky here. <laughs> okay, those are tiny fish. <laughs> this is 
like all over the place. All kinds of things. Oh my goodness. This looks like dragon scales to me. I've been watching House of the Dragon, so. <laughs> oh, these are so beautiful, and I love the muted colors. Although some of them are bright, but they're not like neon y. I don't like neon colors. This could be a Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, this is such a fabulous book. I think there this is considered to be an adult coloring book, but you don't really color anything. You just doodle over it. I don't want it to... We're getting towards the back, and it's getting a little hard to flip it like that. Come on, get the pages here. Oh my goodness, look at this. The Taj Mahal. Wowzer. Look at that. Just a great idea. She said there's flower theme ones. Oh, look, see, more lotus that you get to personalize. Um, she said, my niece said there were flower themes and one with cactus and there's all kinds. And I don't know if all those that she told me about were specifically to Kendra Norton. Here's the front again. This one's called Mindful Journeys. Um, but I thought this was really brilliant. You're in the car. You can't do watercolors in the car. You don't want to drag loose paper with you. Just take this book and an ink pen. Just need an ink pen. A big pen. Oh, did I mention that I have some new pens? No. I was in a group where they were discussing pens and I ordered a few big pens. <laughs> which I think will be brilliant on this right here. <laughs> okay, everybody, that's all I can scrounge up for today. I'm just... Oh, um, I've been trying to knit on my baby afghan for charity. And then, like I said, I've been watching a crap ton of Netflix. Right now I'm watching... What is this called? Oh, Designated Survivor. And this is an old series off of TV, but it doesn't matter. It's episodal TV and I just have to sit here and stare at it with my mouth open and do nothing. There's no cooking going on at my house. Barely any eating. A lot of coughing. Blowing of noses. Grunting every time you have to get up and down to let the dogs out. Such a happy place. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for me. I don't know if I will... Um, have a video next week or not. Depends on how I feel. I'm at the very beginning. Let's see. I, my husband tested positive on um, last last week on Wednesday or Thursday. So we haven't had it very long. So we have a ways to go. All right. So now that I'm housebound for sure, you know, I just want to go out and shop all over the place. Any other time I could care less about leaving the house. But when I'm told I have to stay home, I can't or at least stand it. Maybe this will divert my attention some. Lord knows I have enough yarn to keep me busy. I should just be happy to sit around and knit. But for some reason, I, I don't have the energy to do that. Okay, so I will see you guys either in a week or two with another video. I'm so sorry. We didn't see this coming. We went out to eat for a belated Father's Day breakfast. And two days later, my husband tested positive for that unspeakable virus. Then I came down two days later with same symptoms. So I don't think this is your generic cold. Wished it was though. Alrighty, so I will see you guys when I see you. I wish all of you good health. Please stay healthy. It sucks being sick. Bye.